Hi, I'm Joshua Finn from j and Aerospace. Uh, we had a request for the, um, for the senior flyer to demonstrate how to set up a removable tail boom for this aircraft. Uh, per the kit, we don't, uh, we don't have you do that. Um, this is a strong, lightweight, easy option. However, some people like to have the ability to experiment. So what we're going to do is we're going to walk you through that. Um, and I'm going to do this the, the greatly simplified way so you can just see a really bare bones method. So the first thing you need to do, if you have already attached your tail boom, is you're going to have to take a razor blade and you're going to have to cut it off. And there we go. So off it comes. You want to clean up the um, area where it was glued. Remove any burring around there. You may even want to scrape this to get it to kind of a um, just have rounded corners on it. And once you've done this, you have two ways you can do this. Um, the most accurate and also most hazardous is to wrap it on here. Um, but what we're going to do is I'm going to look around for a piece of wood that's fairly close. This will do. So some of your scrap wood from your wing. Now what I would recommend is sand this down to the same thickness because um, uh, with the early kits we were cutting these out of 1 8 inch balsa. With the new ones that's not an issue. Um, so we decided that 1 8 was just unnecessary. And so we're going to go to the same rounded cross section. We've got this cut, so it is the same thickness here. Because you want this to be a basically a um, what's called an interference fit. You want this to fit tightly. Now we're going to take a piece of scrap paper. Got lots of scrap paper because my Son got into a stack of papers and has strewn them all over the house. Alright, so I've just got a piece of paper that's about uh, three-eighths of an inch wide, half inch wide it'd be fine, what have you. And what I'm going to do, where did I put that form, right here, uh, is I'm going to take this and you'll want to bring, bring the camera in fairly close here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put this paper, piece of paper right in the middle here, like this. And now I'm going to very, very tightly, well, I'm going to attempt to very tightly wrap this around. Like so. And that's just to get the paper started forming to the, to the desired shape. Now, ideally, you would take this, uh, this piece of balsa that you're forming this on and uh, wipe a little bit of Vaseline or something on that. Um, I don't have that luxury right now just because I'm in a hurry and it's late at night and my eyes are literally not focusing correctly. So... Uh, and don't use this. This is Elmer's school glue. That you can tell I'm in a hurry. The regular Elmer's white glue is great. This is the washable, no-run, safe, non-toxic, so it's edible. Don't eat glue, kids. The bottom line is this glue is... Um, in order to make it edible, uh, they took out all the good stuff. So it's really kind of wimpy. I can tell I have not used this glue in a while because it is got all kinds of messy junk up inside there. Keep wrapping this around so I'm at two layers now. Um, I'd recommend two and a half to three layers on this tube. What's going to be really fun is hopefully I'm going to be able to actually get the tube off. 
because the way this evening has been going, that's going to be the next problem. So I'm putting a very, very thin layer of glue on here. Admittedly, right now I'm not entirely by choice because the glue is just not wanting to come out. That's three layers. And now, hopefully, carefully apply. Ah! Success! This gives us what we're looking for. Now, what you should do, what you should do is set this aside to let it dry. Remember that part about it's um, coming up uh, at 10 o'clock and I have to be up in the morning at 5? Yeah. So what I'm doing is I'm trying to kind of pinch the end of this here so it'll fit in the tube very easily. Because once it's in there, if it's good and tight, you can hear it. Now, at this point, I've got the tube. We've got it sized. All I have to do is come back here, put down a dab of CA glue. Line this guy up. Listen to Pee Wee telling me I'm doing it wrong. Find out the glue is not setting up. So I'm going to have to go over here to the CA accelerator because I don't want to clip this video into two pieces. show you up close. We've got the tube. It's mounted. Tail slides in. Fits nice and rigid. Removable for storage. Voila. Questions, comments, put them down below. Hope this has uh, been of assistance to you. And um, hit that notification bell and subscribe if you haven't already. And we'll see you later. Bye.